بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد اي الحبت في الله we ask Allah Azza wa Jal for ikhlas wa thabat ala sunnah al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us of our many sins and bless us with ilm al nafi ruskan tayyib wa amal al mutaqabbil ahabati fillah I just wanted to mention something because it's a recurring issue and it's something that we will constantly deal with unfortunately amongst the community and that is the divisions that we have, and especially some of the fitna and divisions we have between Ahl Sunnah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us to be one. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al kareem wa a'tasimu bi habli la jami'an wa la tafarraku. And hold on to the rope of the law, all of you together, and do not divide. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnat al-Khulafa al-Rashidin al-Mahdiin. He said, it's upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided khalifa. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, If tarakat al-Yahud ala ita wa sab'in firqa, wa if tarakat al-Nasara ala thinatayn wa sab'in firqa, wa sa taftariku hadhi umma ala thalata wa sab'in firqa, kullaha fi al-Nara ala wahida, kulla man hiya ya Rasulullah, qala man kana ala mithi wa ma kana alayhi wa ashabi. O kama qala nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the Jews, we're breaking the 71 sects and the Christians in the 72 sects and my ummah in the 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. He said, who are they? They said, who are they, uh, Ya Rasulullah? He said, those who are upon what I'm upon and what my companions are upon, meaning following the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is delivery. Delivery from the hellfire. Deliverance from the hellfire. Deliverance from bid'ah. Deliverance from zandaka. Deliverance from kufr. And all the other and deliverance from fitna and the trials and tribulations. However, when we have these problems between Ahl Sunnah, meaning between Salafis, between those who call to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah, this often you find, we're not talking about between Ahl Sunnah and Ahl Bid'ah, but we're talking about between brothers who have the same madhab, the same minhaj, that they strive to adhere to kitab Allah wa sunnah of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the madhab of the salaf of this ummah in aqidah, in creed, in minhaj, in methodology, in understanding the text, and in methodology in da'wah, and in manners, and all the values of Islam. And they have those same, they hold those same values, but where you find a difference between many brothers and sisters of Ahlul Sunnah is that they divide based on sometimes the most minute issue, in that they disagree over an individual. For example, Sheikh so-and-so may have declared Sheikh so-and-so an innovator and perhaps brought his dalil. And his dalil can be refuted and his dalil can be accepted. And of course his dalil has to come from dalil al kitab wa sunnah to show that, it's a mukha, that this person has differed with the Qur'an and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has indeed made a mistake and this mistake is or these mistakes have taken them off the methodology of the Prophet Sallallahu the Madhab of the Salaf. So that requires Dalil. It requires evidence for doing so. But however you may have differences and you will have differences because as the ulama say and as we should know even those students of knowledge that have been studying Islam should know that these issues when we talk about Tatbiq of these principles on, a, on the mu'ayyineen, on, on specific individuals, when we talk about takfir on a spe specific individual, when we talk about tabdir on a specific individual, or tafsir, that these, especially with regards to takfir and tabdir, they're derived from the sharia rulings, all of these. 
but they are still a more ijtihadiyya, meaning that scholars will differ. The reality is many ulama of Ahl Sunnah in the past, up until now, differ over individuals, differ over the tibdi of so-and-so, differ over the tibdi of such, such and such person. That's why it requires for us, if you have the ability to, to look into the matter, to be able to determine the haq from battle according to the best uh, viewpoint that you might be able, uh, that, you, that, you, that in accordance with the ev evidences. If you are able to make istanbad and you're able, you have enough knowledge to be able to at least look at what's being said from both parties. We're talking about issues between Ahl Sunnah. So in those situations, then of course it is not on you if you have the knowledge, as a student of knowledge, to not blind follow in every ijtihadat. If you have the knowledge to be able to look into the issue to some degree yourself, then that's incredibly important. But going back to the basis of what I'm speaking about is how we treat one another when we have those differences. That is what's problematic. That when you say so-and-so who takes from the same ulama as you, loves the same madhab as you, and here's the kitab illa wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the understanding of the salam, to the extent of their ability, they're striving. But then you take them off the sunnah because they didn't agree with you. They didn't agree with your shaykh. They didn't agree with your, the student of knowledge that you take from or they didn't agree with the da'i that may not even be a student of knowledge because they made tabdir of so-and-so and now everyone who differs with them is an innovator or is mumayya or is weak in the principles or is this or is that. Ahabatif Allah, bi'idn Allah, this will cease one day, we hope. But until then, let's be the better of the individuals Continue striving to adhere to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Avoid the fitna as much as possible. And try to stick with Ahl Al. And know that if you have the ability, if you have some knowledge, that you should not be just blind following. Because there's no way I can say I follow Sheikh so and so in every issue, in every ijtihadat that he makes. Regardless of whether it is. The imams before us, imams, great imams, Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Malik, Imam Shafi'i, Imam Ahmed, none of our scholars are on that caliber. And all of them make mistakes. The Prophet said, Kulu ibn Adam khata wa khata All the children of Adam make mistakes. And the best of those who make mistakes is those who repent. So when we know we all make mistakes, do not rush to take your brothers and sisters from the fold of Ahl Sunnah to say they're Mubtadi'ah. That is the last thing we need when the Rath of the Shia are opposing Ahl Sunnah and killing Ahl Sunnah. When the secularists are blaming Ahl Sunnah for making takfir and blaming Ahl Sunnah for extremism. When the extremists claim that Ahl Sunnah is murjia, you know, that Ahl Sunnah doesn't believe Iman fluctuated, Ahl Sunnah doesn't uh, uh, believe deeds are a part of Iman. This is what they, they claim. So everyone is attacking Ahl Sunnah. And then some of the brothers and sisters from Ahl Sunnah are attacking themselves and eating themselves up like a cancer. And this is what the Hizbiyun love. This is what people like Yasser Qadi and others who criticize Salafiyah and say that it's just a new movement, this is exactly what these individuals love because it plays right into their narrative that they say it's just a newly invented group the creeds uh, nice, ahla afar, 
but they deal with issues that don't deal with the main uh, uh, the main public, and that they make tibdi of one another like they're drinking water. This plays right into their hand. So let's be better than the hizbiyun. Let's be better than the mubtadi'in. Let's be better than those people who criticize and attack Ahl Sunnah. And let's do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Unite for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَتَعَوْنَ عَلَى بِرِي وَتَقْوَى وَلَا تَعَوْنَ عَلَى إِثْمِي وَعُدْوَانِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, and cooperate all of you together in, in, bir, in, in, bir, in, in righteousness and piety. And do not cooperate in sinfulness and hatred, you know, enmity. And this is exactly what many of the people do, especially when they blind follow uh, different rulings of, of sometimes just du'at and s small students of knowledge who say if you go to that masjid, uh, you're an, uh, you go to that conference, you're a mubtadia. If you sit with them, or you went to so-and-so's lecture, we saw so-and-so's tape on your shelf, or so-and-so's book, uh, book on your shelf, khalas mubtadia. Until you make, cl do you make clarity to us, then you're a mubtadia. This is a, a masiba kubra, a habitifillah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to rectify our condition and our affairs and forgive us of our many sins and bless Ahl Sunnah to be one hand going forth and setting the example and spreading the da'wah, kitabillah, wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, according to the madhab of the salam of this ummah, wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.